Hello, this is Matt from Matt Teen Yaps, and welcome to part seven in our series covering all of the basics of Swift Free. In this video, we will take a look at dictionaries. So let's jump straight into Xcode. Okay, so into Xcode, and we want to get started with a playground, and we will call this dictionaries. And as always, we will delete this string so we have a nice blank playground. Okay, so dictionaries. So dictionaries are another type of collection. So dictionaries are the third kind of collection that we are looking at after arrays and sets. So what makes dictionaries different to arrays and sets? Well, with dictionaries, we can set up keys and values. So today, what we will do is set up a dictionary to store players and their score. So with a dictionary, we can almost pair a player with their score. So imagine if we did this with an array. So let's set up an array of scores. So we'd have var scores of type an array of ints. And the score for one player is 10. The score for another player, say 14. Someone's on five and someone's on three. Okay, so these are all the scores in our game but we want these to be paired with a player's name. So we can easily go and find the player's score. So say for example, we wanted to get Jay's score from this or Will's score or Emma's score. You know, we can't do it because which score is Jay's, which one is Will's, you know? So what we can do rather than using an array, we will use a dictionary. So what we can do is say var and we will call this scores and this will be of type dictionary which will have a key of a string and a value of an int. So string colon int equals. Now, what we have to do for every piece of data in this dictionary is have a string paired with an int. The string will be the key, the int will be the value. So what we can now do is say, Matt has a score of 10. So we now have 10 in our dictionary with the key Matt. So Matt is sort of like a reference name to this number here. We can do a comma and we can just keep doing these. So we have a name, colon, and a score, comma, a name, a colon, and a score. So now our numbers are values which have a key. Now, quick note, as you can probably see, a dictionary is unordered. So these don't have an index. Okay, so we couldn't do scores index zero. Okay, so these have no set order. So a dictionary is unordered. However, with a dictionary, we don't need an index because in a way, these keys are custom versions of an index. Rather than saying go to score and go to index zero, we can say go to scores and get me the score of Matt, which is 10. So we're going to scores and we are looking for this key. It will look through our collection, it will find the key, and it will tell us the value for this key, so 10. So it found Matt, and as Matt has 10, it will return 10. Just like how if we searched for Emma, it will find the key Emma, and it will find us the value, 15. So with dictionaries, we use keys and we use values. And to get access to values, we search for a particular key. And if it can find it, it will give us back a value. Now with this, if it can't find it, so if it can't find the key, it will return nil, okay? So we can set up a dictionary with keys and with values, and we can then get information from this dictionary by searching for a key, and it will then tell us the value. Now, just like with arrays and with sets, we can find out how many items, so how many pairings of keys and values we have in this dictionary by using dot count. See, we have four because we have Jay, Matt, Emma, and Will, four people. And we can also easily change the value of any keys. So say, for example, Will scored some points. So what we can do, we can take scores and we can say dot update value. So what's our new value and what key is this for? So Will now scored 18. So we will store 18 with the key Will. Okay, so now if we search for scores, as you can see, Will now has 18. As a quick reminder, we can only make changes to this dictionary because we declared it with var and not with let. Now, as a bit of a quicker way of doing this, 
we can take scores and we can just take a key such as j and just straight change the value by saying equals 16. Okay, so take scores, find the key j and set that value to 16. So again, if we look at scores, j now has 16. So that's how we can update or change a value in our dictionary. And we can also use this to add to our dictionary. So for example, if we take scores and if we try to update a brand new value with the score 22 for player Ian, what's gonna happen is it will add a key for Ian with the value 22. So we would try to update the value for Ian to 22, but because there's not already a key called Ian, it will add it for us with the value 22. Now, just like above, we can use our shorthand version. So scores and for Reese would equal 19. Again, if we look up scores, as you can now see, as it couldn't find a key for Reese, it has added this for us. So that's how we can update or add values to dictionaries. It's the same code, but basically if it can find the key that we want to update, it will update the value. If not, it will add that key for us with its new value. Okay, now what we can also do is remove a key with a value. So scores.remove value for Matt, and this will go to our dictionary, find the key Matt and its value, and it will remove it. So as you can see, Matt is now gone, okay? So that is what we can do with a dictionary. We can store keys and values, and we can retrieve these values by searching for the key. We can update the values by saying, take a certain key and update that value. And also by searching for a key and trying to update values, we can add to our dictionary because if it can't find the key we want to update, it will add it for us. And then finally, we can remove a pair of keys and values by removing the value for a key. As a final point, just like with arrays and sets, what we can do with dictionaries, we can cycle through these pairs of keys and values and affect everything in this collection with the same block of code. But we will look at that when we learn about loops in the next video. So that is what a dictionary is and how we can use one. So that wraps up our look at dictionaries. Make sure to post any questions down in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you liked watching this video, which I really, really hope you did, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.